So we got some sad news earlier coming out of the world of music. Frankie Beverly, you know, part of the group Maze or Frankie Beverly and the Maze family passed away today at the age of 77. Um, they got several hit singles, classic singles, if you've never listened to them. Before I Let Go, Happy Feelings and We Are One. And honestly, I mean, the list goes on and on. But I, I'm sitting here back here. I'm thinking, you know, he's 70, 70 years old. So, you know, he lived a, a, a great life. People back then. You know they made it. They made a different type of music. Now, yeah, Frankie Beverly grew up in the in Philly, and Philly wasn't just per se segregation. But come on now, the the country itself was a total different time back then, and everybody made music. It, this listen to it. Listen to the Aretha Franklins and so on and so forth. The um the Marvin Gaye's, like I said, the Frankie Beverly's, Temptations. Listen to how their music was. It was timeless, timeless music, timeless music. And Frankie Beverly amazed them. That's before my time, but I still grew up on it. Now my father's around Frankie Beverly's age, but still, I that's classic music. That music can go from air to air. You can play Frankie Beverly amazed them a hundred years from now. And I was listening to Seventy Eight Live today, and yeah, it's really not a lot of people you can pass on. A lot of our legends are crossing over to history, and I'm wondering who's going to be up next. To, pick up the pieces you know what i'm saying because you don't really hear people singing on the radio no more you know people singing about about women or you know being happy and stuff like that. you don't really hear that all you hear now is you know bang bang and chase a ninja get a ninja or you don't even understand what they're saying they just so yeah man it's sad to see that we're losing our our greats you know what i mean and it's got to be we got to we got to get back to a point to where our music is timeless. But, you know, unfortunately, that's just where we at for the most part. I mean, yeah, we got we got Kendrick and Cole. But just think like when I sit back and think when I was growing up, which was I mean, really the eight, the the mid 90s and up. I, I remember like you could turn on the radio and it would be hit after hit and you could just feel the music. You know, what I mean, you could feel the the passion of the music. All, all the way down from the production to the core, so on and so forth. I'll ask, I'll ask my own kids, do y'all understand what they saying? And they'll say no. You remember back then, you knew every everything. Even with the whole super producer thing, producers would come on. You knew it was going to be a classic if a artist and a producer were to collab. But, you know, unfortunately, that's just the state where we at in music. But, yeah, I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Rest in peace, Frankie Beverly, man. Legend, 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 you know. Live to be 77 years old. I'm over here thinking about right now before I let go. I could just picture my dad playing that music on a, on a Friday or a Saturday. You know what I mean? And, and him and him and his girl getting up dancing together. You know, so it is classic times, classic times. Even my mom, my mom will play that type of music when she clean it up. And, you know, you got family about to come over. And I'm like, what, five, six years old. So, you know, but rest in peace, man. Rest in peace to the legend. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.